Hi, I'm Gavin Howey and you're watching the Technique of the Month from Digital Photo Magazine. This month I'm going to show you how to create this stunning reflected image using PaintShop Pro. Now I know the picture on screen looks really complicated, but it's actually quite easy to make because we've got this really special template that you can download off the CD and it does all the technical bits for you and all you need to do is find some great images to put in there. But before you do, you just need to do a bit of preparation with the template. Open the Layers palette, so down to the keyboard and press F8, and you'll find that you've got four layers. Now what we need to do is to make sure we're working on the background layer. So if it isn't active already, click it to make sure it becomes active. And that's it with the layers, we can close those down. We now need to add in some images. So let's go up to File, Open, and I've got a whole bunch of different images in here, all basically flower type pictures. Let's open the first one. Now you can put any image you like into the template, but the size and shape are quite important. They will take any shape, but square tends to work best. So I'm going to get the crop tool, and I'm just going to crop out a rough sort of square shape, like so, just covering most of the image. Yeah, that looks pretty good. When you're happy, click the tick. And that crops the image down nicely. Now let's add that image onto our template. So we'll go to Edit and Copy and then we can close down the rows, we don't need that now and then on the template we'll go edit and paste as new layer okay it's important to paste it as a new layer otherwise this doesn't really work very well uh, and then we have it, we have our rows in behind our frames but as you can see it's kind of the wrong size and well the wrong shape really it's got to fit into this little window here so we're going to get the pick tool off the toolbar and we're going to resize, reshape and just generally move this around so let's just shuffle it into the corner like that now you can see there's little corner handles on each side of our rows to resize and reshape we need to do a bit of keyboard work at the same time as moving these corner handles so you need to be holding the control and the shift key and when you do and you move your cursor up to a corner handle you can see that the shape of the little box next to the cursor changes and now I can distort the rows and drag each corner handle in behind the frame like so, so we can drag all of them around like that and that's it, it's resized it so it fits neatly behind the frame so that's the top bit done but we also need to do the same for the reflection now we're going to use the same image as we've got here so let's go up to layers and then we'll choose duplicate and that will make an exact copy I need to make a mirror image of that image here, that rose. So let's go up to uh, image, and now you might be tempted to go for mirror. I mean, that seems the obvious solution, doesn't it? You're going to make a mirror image. But don't do that. That'll make a mirror image horizontally. We want to make one vertically, and for that, you need to go with flip. So that's flipped the image up the other way. But as I bring it down here, uh, oh, let's not drag that one around. Let's make sure we work on the right one, there we go, careful with the clicking um, you can see it, it won't fit the distortion that we put in before doesn't match the frames because we've flipped it over um, so we need to go back with the pick tool holding shift and control and just drag up that corner and put it into the right place this time though it's not a matter of getting the handles in the right place watch the image and make sure it just tucks neatly underneath the picture now we can't quite see the other bits, they've gone off the screen so we can just get the zoom tool and we'll just zoom out a little bit like so and make a bit of working space for ourselves and go back to the pick tool and there we are, now we can see the corner handles again holding shift and control and we'll just put those just in the right place like that, there you go marvellous, okay so that's uh, that's one done let's do the uh, do the next one go to file and open and open flower number two again we're going to edit and copy and then edit and paste as new layer now, I've really cropped this one down for a bit of speed but we still need to distort it using the pick tool and using the uh, the keyboard shortcut the shift and control we'll just move each corner handle underneath the squares like so here we go, and it's neatly tucked in like that. Okay, let's make a copy of that, layers and duplicate, and then we'll make a mirror image. Again, not using mirror, but using flip. 
let's bring this down into the right place again we'll keep a little watch out just to make sure we get everything in the right place we'll just drag this corner up but again it's not the corner handle it's the actual image I want to tuck in neatly underneath the frame uh, we need to zoom out a couple of clicks just to zoom out and back with the pick tool and we'll move this one in as well and the other side now it can be hard to line these bits up along the bottom because the edge of our template drops off the frame so you need to use a little bit of um, well, keep, just keep an eye on things really and do it visually by eye but it's not too difficult you can work it out fairly quickly great okay so that's uh, two down and one to go let's open the last one file and open flower number three edit and copy and edit paste as new layer back with the pick tool let's just distort this up that's one side that's two sides and that's three and then the last one whoops yeah, of course the last one doesn't want to work does it let's try that again shall we yeah it's got it this time great wonderful that's it that's in and then we'll make a copy of that layers and duplicate and then uh, image and flip and we'll move this down it's always easy if you can start off with one corner already underneath uh, the frame just gives you a, a point of reference and then just stretch the others out like so and we'll just find the ones that have disappeared off the edge of the screen and a couple of clicks and bring that one in and that one in and oh, just a little bit off to the side that's better and that's it there we go so we're done that's kind of all done now so all of the flowers are in place they're all mirrored as you can see these bits are perfectly mirrored exactly as it should be trouble is it really doesn't look that convincing as a mirror image uh, the reason is that the, the main images are exactly the same brightness as their mirrored equivalents. And that's not right. The, the mirrored ones should be a little bit darker and fainter. Well, we've thought of that too. Go back to your layers palette, F8 on the keyboard. And on the layers palette, you'll find a layer called shadow. Now that should be turned off at the moment. But if you click the little eye icon, the little no entry sign disappears and it turns that layer on. OK, and there we can see the effect. That works really well. It adds a shadow at the bottom of the picture and darkens these reflected images down. And now they really do look like they are on a shiny black polished marble. And you could stop there quite happily. But let's give you a little bonus tip as we've got room on this CD for just another minute or so. Um, the colour in the background, by default we've added this sort of dark blue that kind of looks quite classy. But if you want to change that to something completely different, you can do that. Go back to the Layers palette and scroll right the way down to the very bottom layer, which should be the background layer. Click it to make it active. To change the colour, we're going to go up to Adjust, Hue and Saturation, Hue, Saturation and Lightness. Now this is a great big box that fills almost half the screen, um, but uh, you should be able to get the idea. Simply by moving the hue around, we can change the colour. So this is what we started with, with the blue, and this is what we're going to get. And if I put the hue to anything else, you see you can pick a different colour. That's a purpley colour, um, through to sort of ready colours. Anything that you can imagine, you can get. So if we want a sort of greeny tone, we should be able to find that as well. There we are. Uh, you can bump, bump up the, uh, the saturation, so you can have a more saturated colour, or the opposite, of course. So there's a little bit of manipulation you can do to the colouring. But when you're happy, you just click the, uh, the tick. Click OK, rather. There it is. I missed it. And that'll add in a, a different colour to the background. And there you go. You now have a glorious reflected image created.